England's World Cup heroes of 1966 have led today's tributes to Kenneth Wollstoneholm, who's died at the age of 81. For over two decades, he was television's voice of football, the first presenter of Match of the Day, and a man with his own special place in British sporting history. We asked the BBC's Barry Davis, a friend and former colleague of Ken Wollstoneholm, for his personal assessment, and here's Barry's own tribute. The modulated tones of Kenneth Wolstenholme were an essential part of televised football long before, in 1964, he introduced what was to become an institution. Welcome to Match of the Day, the first of a weekly series coming to you every Saturday on BBC Two. He was there when England failed. Oh, a lovely goal! My goodness, if he could turn on tricks like this, we ought to have him on the music hall. And he gave expression to England's greatest triumph with words which ensured his own place in the game's history. Some people are on the pitch, they think it's all over. It is now. It's four. And Number seven, Alan Ball, the hero then, remembers it now. I was hoping Jeff Hurst would pass the ball to me. There were people running past me and I thought, well, the game's over, but it wasn't. Then the ball flashed in the back of the net and I just went, that's it, we've done it. And I felt it, it is now, it's finished, it's over. But he put it in a in, uh, fantastic phrase. He remained in the country's affection, his thoughts on commentary clear and always worth consideration. Now on radio, silence is absolutely sinful, but on television, silence is golden. You know, on television football matches commentary. And um, I think it's very hard to break out of the radio commentary and get into uh, a television commentary. And Bobby Moore comes up to receive. Trophy for England. Like that England team, Kenneth Wollstoneholm set the standard to follow. Commentators, viewers and his many friends in football will be saddened at his sudden passing. As far as I'm concerned, it was a wonderful thing to have been able to say, well, I did the commentary in 1966, beat that. 